Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhiannon and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the things that I bought whilst at Disneyland Paris. Now if you've seen the thumbnail you will know that I do have quite a big bag and there is a reason for that which I will get into when I show you one specific item but I did buy quite a few things whilst I was out there not as much as I thought I would actually I did have my eye on a few things before going out so I did kind of have an idea of what I wanted to spend my money on but of course being at the parks you're immersed in all the Disney magic there is so much stuff that I did get sucked into buying a few more things as well so I'm very excited to show you guys what I bought. I will have this video time stamped as well so if you do just want to see certain things then you're more than welcome to skip ahead. But that's enough rambling from me so without further ado let's just dive into the haul. First up I have these two cards. I have my magic pass that looks like this and this essentially gives you access to both parks and if you have any sort of meal plans booked as part of your package then it all connects to this card and you use this for the majority of your time at the park. So this is what the back of mine looks like. As you can see, it's got my name on there, the place that we're staying, and the dates that we have entry to the parks. Now you can see at the top here we have some icons as well, and that is because this time round we decided to go for a half board meal plan. That essentially meant that we got breakfast every morning at our hotel, and we did get one meal at the parks as well, which we used the first day in Pimp Kitchen, the second day at Bistro Chez Remy, and the third day at Captain Jack's, which is the Pirates of the Caribbean theme restaurant. That worked out really well for us. We did get three courses I think for every meal plan that we got except for Pim Kitchen which was a buffet and it was just what we needed essentially. It wasn't too much or too little and then we could survive the rest of the day just on some snacks. So I would definitely recommend that. I do think that the amount of food that you get depends on the hotels that you stay at. So we were looking to stay at Santa Fe but if we did that then we would have had less credit on our meal plan. So definitely double check with that but we stayed at Hotel Cheyenne and those were the meal options that were available to us. Of course you can always watch my vlogs for this trip where I show you what we had at each of the restaurants but this was our holy grail. We needed this to get into the parks and of course to have our meal plans and I am really glad that this is one that we were allowed to keep as well. And then the second card that I have here is the Disney Photo Pass card. This is one that I am so so happy that we actually decided to go for. So if you guys don't know, Disneyland Paris offers the PhotoPass Plus service, which essentially means that you get all of your photos from the rides and PhotoPass opportunities around the parks downloaded to your mobile device. As I mentioned, this was fantastic for us because we do go on a lot of rides. The majority of the rides that we went on, we were able to get photos for. And then as well as that, we had some photos by the castle. There was a PhotoPass photographer there on the second day that we were there. So we got our photos taken as a group and as couples and they turned out so, so good. And then we did also get a magic photo pass opportunity as well. I'm not sure if that's the correct term for it but again if you watch my vlog for the last day I want to say you will see what I mean but Ads and I had a photo shoot. It was just us two and then some characters were edited in so we got all of those. We also had a photo shoot at Hollywood Studios as well by the statue of Walter Mickey and I think we ended up having around 40 odd photos downloaded by the end of the trip which if you put that into context if you buy a single photo it's normally 10 euros. The photo pass cost us 75 pounds I want to say when I booked it or 75 euros one of those and for me it was definitely worth it. I love my photos. I'm always that person that takes ages because I just want to stop and take photos of everything to document the trip so yes this was so useful for us. I'm so happy with all the photos and I would highly recommend this if you think that you're gonna go on a lot of rides and meet characters or just want photos around the parks in general. And then leading on from that, I did actually get some photos printed just because I love them so much and I wanted the 30th anniversary frames around them. This is the first one that I decided to get of Tom and I. We were mid laughing at this point because the photo pass photographer was telling us to do a scary face and I just wasn't quite sure how to do it. Then we have this one of us in front of the castle. We have all four of us in front of the castle here as well, which this is probably my favourite photo from the whole trip. I absolutely love it. And then the last one is for when Tom and I met Woody at our hotel. And I love this one because there is actually a signature from Woody on the photo itself, but you can't quite see it because of the frame, unfortunately. But yeah, loved this meet and greet. It was so, so fun. And I'm really glad that Tom was there as well because Woody is one of his favourite characters. He absolutely 
absolutely loves Toy Story and so I wanted to get this to document that. Now I did spend quite a bit of money on these. I think four photos with the frames were 45 euros which as I mentioned is quite a bit considering I did buy the photo pass but I just thought it was so so nice to have all these photos framed in the 30th anniversary ones. As I mentioned previously I love having photos and yeah I just thought these were so so lovely. I will definitely find a place for these in the house and just a quick mention actually I did get these printed at the shop in Hotel Cheyenne so definitely check if that's an option for you. They did let us know straight away that we were allowed to do that and so on the last day I went there I decided which photos I wanted printed and they printed them then and there without any fuss so that was amazing. I'm so so happy with these and yeah as I mentioned I will be finding a place for them on my wall somewhere. Next up I'm going to show you guys some spirit jerseys that I bought. Now I did go to Disneyland Paris wanting two spirit jerseys in particular. I wanted the Avengers Campus spirit jersey and the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary spirit jersey. Now again if you've seen my vlogs you will know that the Marvel spirit jersey was unfortunately sold out which is such a shame but I did manage to get my hands on the 30th anniversary one which I'm so so happy about. So this is what the front of it looks like. It just has the 30th anniversary logo there. It's a little different difficult to show you guys the sleeves but it does just say 30 years of magic on there and it does have the same on the other side as well and then on the back as you can see it just says Disneyland Paris but it does feature some icons from around the park such as rides and characters and I just fell in love with this. I love the colour scheme of it. I love the whole design and yeah I was really really chuffed that I found this because I was so scared that it was going to be sold out but to be honest with you there was a lot of stock of this. They are dotted about in a few shops and and yeah, this is one that I will definitely treasure because I just love it so, so much. And it, of course, documents the time that we went for the 30th anniversary. And then the next spirit jersey that I bought was definitely an impulse buy. But as I mentioned, I couldn't get my hands on the Marvel one. And so when I bought the 30th anniversary spirit jersey, I also saw this one. Now, if you look behind me, you can see a very familiar face that we have Stitch. And this is the spirit jersey that I found in World of Disney, you guys. How cute is this so we have stitch on the corner there which I definitely prefer the look of a plainer spirit jersey I just like a small little print on the front and then on the back <laughs> this one is definitely a bit more extreme but we have stitch there eating the Disneyland Paris logo and we do have a little bit here that says experiment 626 which I just absolutely love this. Stitch is one of my favourite characters and yeah, I just love this one so, so much. I couldn't leave him there, so I did decide to bring him home with me. The only thing I will say about these is, of course, the colour. Now, I did go for two spirit jerseys that are white, which is not the best because I wear makeup and the collars of these do have a bit of makeup on them already. So just be aware of that if you do want to purchase these, but I'm sure it will come out in the wash, hopefully anyway. And as I mentioned, I just love them so so much that I couldn't leave them there. Next up I have what is possibly my favourite purchase from this trip and that is this plushie of Sven. Just look at him for a second you guys. Isn't he the cutest little thing? I am absolutely obsessed with him and this is actually another thing that I saw before going to Disneyland Paris and knew that I wanted so when I saw him at the shop I of course picked him up. I do believe that he was 30 euros which is definitely not cheap but it's around the average price of a soft toy over at Disneyland Paris and yeah as I mentioned I just could not leave him there he is the cutest little thing and he is going to sit very nicely next to Stitch who has once again fallen over there we go I've just corrected him but I did buy this one at World of Disney but once again these sorts of plushies were dotted all around the shops in the parks there were quite a few different characters as well but as I mentioned I saw this before going and knew that I wanted him so that's the reason I chose him Frozen 2 is possibly my favorite Disney film ever as well so this is a nice little nod to that and yeah yeah, I just think he is the cutest little thing. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the pins that I bought. Now, don't be alarmed. I did buy quite a few, but I absolutely love my pins and my plan was to get one pin for each ride that I went on. However, the selection at Disneyland Paris really wasn't great. I struggled to find pins for most of the rides and attractions and a lot of the ones that they had there as well really weren't my style. So I do have a selection here. I'm really happy with all the ones that I did find and I will, of course, talk you through the reasoning behind every single one of these as I go through them. So the first pin I bought was the Avengers Flight Force pin. This was the first ride that we went on in Hollywood Studios actually and for our whole trip. 
and boy was it a good one. I absolutely loved this ride. It's one of my new favourite ones. It was so well done in terms of the theming as you walk through the queue and the ride itself was just absolutely insane. And so when I hopped off the ride at the end, I went to the shop and bought myself a pin just so that I could remember that whole experience. And this was the pin that I chose just because it was a little bit more minimalistic and I just really liked the look of it. Now, I can't quite remember how much this was because on the back of these pins, you'll see that it says orange on this one. So all of the pins are priced differently depending on the colour on the back. I believe that orange was eight euros, so it wasn't too bad considering that some of these have been a little bit more pricey. But yeah, for the first ride that I went on, I got this one. And as I mentioned, it's one of my new favourite rides now, so I'm so, so happy with it. The next pin that I got was this one for Phantom Manor. And the cool thing about this is that it was actually released on the second day that we were at Disneyland Paris. So it's a very new pin release and this is a ride that the four of us went on and really enjoyed. If you've seen the vlog you'll know that I had a really silly moment getting on the ride which I'm not going to talk about here but I wanted to get the pin for this just to kind of remember that because it made all of us laugh and the fact that I caught it on camera is just brilliant. So yeah I got myself a Phantom Manor pin. Again this one was the one I liked the most out of all of them. There were quite a few pins for Phantom Manor and Tower of Terror but they were all quite similar in the design and that they had some characters on there which I wasn't too keen on for the rides pin. So I did end up going with this one, which is more of a plainer one, but it does feature the ghoul skeleton character that you see throughout the ride. This again was an orange pin, so I'm guessing it was around eight euros and I really do like it. It's a good size and yeah, again, it just makes me think of how silly I was at being on that ride. Now those were the only two pins that I saw for rides around the parks and at my hotel, which as I mentioned, isn't really the best. But I did end up going to the storybook store in Disneyland Park on the last day. I decided to just go in there on a whim really and I found some more pins for some rides that I've been on. So I decided then and there to just pick them up. Otherwise I knew I would definitely regret it. Now the first of those pins was for the Indiana Jones ride. I really love the design of this pin. I'm so, so happy that I found it. This was a ride that all four of us enjoyed so much. It was definitely an unexpected one because I didn't know that there were loops in it and things like that and I wasn't actually allowed to go on this ride the last time I went which was 15 years ago because I was too short so it definitely felt kind of cool being able to ride it for the first time this time around. Again this is an orange pin which means it would have been about eight euros and once again it is one that I'm really happy to now own. The next pin I have is for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Hopefully you can see all the detail in this but I'm not gonna lie you guys I was really just disappointed with the shop at the end of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. They really didn't have anything that I would have expected them to have. I really wanted a medallion. I got one last time around, which I know that was a few years ago now, but it's such a big part of the film and my medallion got quite damaged after years of me, you know, wearing it and things like that. And I thought I could get my hands on a new one. However, there just really wasn't anything in the shop. I didn't even find this pin in the shop. I found this pin at the storybook shop, as I mentioned. And and yeah, I was just all round really disappointed. I think Adriana was the only one that bought something from that shop. She bought a top but that is pretty much it. Oh, I actually bought a golden coin, which I will try and look for quickly for you guys. Here it is. This is what it looks like. This cost me three euros, which is quite pricey, but it was the second best thing to getting the medallion. So definitely be aware of that before you go to the pirate shop, because as I mentioned, I was really excited for it. I had a lot of things that I was looking to buy, but unfortunately they just really didn't have anything there that I fancied. I'm so, so glad that I did manage to find this pin though, because because Pirates is one of my favourite ever rides. This is the one that I remember going on most on our last trip. And so I really wanted something to commemorate that experience. And then we did also eat at Captain Jack's as well, which is the Pirates of the Caribbean inspired restaurant. And that whole experience was just amazing. So I really wanted a pin to commemorate that. And I'm so, so glad, as I mentioned, that I found this on the last day. And then just quickly, this is another orange pin, which means it was eight euros. And then the last pin that I bought from the storybook store was this one of Cheshire Cat and some pumpkins. Now again, if you have watched the vlogs of my trip to Disneyland Paris, you'll know that I did meet Cheshire Cat on the third day, I want to say it was, and it was just the most amazing experience. Cheshire is also one of my favourite characters. I absolutely love him. And so again, I wanted a pin to commemorate the fact that I met him, and I found this one on the last day, luckily, just on a random 
visit to the storybook store. So I'm so, so happy with this one. I love the fact that he has the pumpkins around him because obviously I did go over Halloween. This was another orange pin, which again means that it was eight euros. And yeah, I'm just so, so happy with it. I'm so glad that I was able to meet Cheshire and to get a pin of him because as I mentioned, the choice of souvenirs really wasn't that great at the park. So very happy that I found this one and that it was of Cheshire, which is a character that I met. And then the last pin that I bought was this 30th anniversary pin. It of course has Tinkerbell on it, as you can see, and the castle as well. This is one that I saw on Shop Disney quite a while ago, but I never actually picked it up. And then when I did go to buy it, it was sold out. So when I saw it in Disneyland Paris, I decided to just get it because I definitely would have regretted it if I didn't. I will say though, this is the priciest pin. This one was 15 euros, which is kind of pricey. But as I mentioned, it's one that I'd seen quite a few times beforehand, never bought, and then was gutted when it was sold out. So I decided to buy it then and there. It is for the 30th anniversary and Tinkerbell is one of my favourite characters. And I feel like she's not a character that we get a lot of merch on. So yeah, when I saw this one, I decided to pick it up. Again, it was an impulse buy. It was just as we were leaving on our last day. We popped into some of the shops in Disney Village and I saw it and decided to just buy it. That leads me on nicely though into the next thing that I bought, which was a Pandora charm. I did go into this trip thinking I was gonna get a Pandora charm because I know the Disney parks have exclusive charms that you can get. And it wasn't until the third day I decided that I was actually gonna buy myself a charm for this trip. The jewellery shop is in Hollywood Studios. It's to your left once you come in through the big doors. But this is the box. It's really nice and dainty. And then the charm that I got was this one. Now I'm not sure if this is completely in focus. Hopefully it is. If it's not, I will put a picture of it up on the screen for you. But this is the same design as the pin that I got. It has Tinkerbell at the front and the castle behind her. And I'm so, so chuffed with this one, you guys. I was debating getting another one which was a dangly charm that had the 30th anniversary logo on it however I didn't want to spend too much money so I did just decide to go for this one this was 69 euros which is quite pricey but considering it's a park exclusive that you can't get anywhere else I don't think is actually too bad and then this is what it looks like on the back it does say Disneyland Paris on it and I believe it says 30 years of magic but yeah I'm so so happy with this one I think you can see it a little bit better there and it's one that I will obviously keep forever. I am currently wearing my Pandora charm bracelet right now. I absolutely love them. I do have a Mickey Mouse on there and I also have a heart with a quote from Cinderella that says a dream is a wish your heart makes. So this one will be a lovely addition to it and I cannot wait to put it on and wear it all the time. The next thing I bought is another thing that I saw before going and knew that I wanted. It came in this lovely box and you can probably tell what it is just by that alone but in here, we have an Avengers Campus Starbucks mug. This is so cool, you guys. I'm so, so happy that I managed to get my hands on this. I couldn't get the Spirit jersey, and this was definitely the next best thing. It's part of the You Are Here collection by Starbucks, and as you can see, it says Starbucks on the mug, and I will turn it around slowly for you guys just so that you can see what it is like. Hopefully it's all been in focus for you guys. I'm really sorry if it's not. This camera's been playing up recently and it's quite annoying. But I absolutely love this one. I believe that this was 20 euros. I might be wrong on that. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But I'm a person that loves my mugs. I really like collecting them and I'm obsessed with this one. I did try and get the 30th anniversary mug, which is the same style as this one, but unfortunately they were sold out. But I'm really happy to have this one. I think it's such a nice one as well. Definitely not too gimmicky for me and yeah I will definitely enjoy having my tea or coffee from this mug. Another thing that I was wanting to buy before going to the parks was a magnet. Now as I mentioned previously the selection of certain things in Disneyland Paris really wasn't that great and I honestly couldn't find a magnet that I liked. There were three I think to choose from. One was a group one, one was a photo frame one and the other did say Disneyland Paris on it but it was kind of flowery and weird 
and I really didn't like it. So I did end up choosing the photo frame magnet. Now it's definitely not my favourite but I do get a magnet for every place that I go to so I couldn't leave without one and this was nine euros which again is a bit pricey but it's the only one that I liked out of the three and I can put a picture in here so it's not too bad. And then I do have another magnet which is actually a bottle opener. Now this is one that Tom bought. I think this is one of the only things that he did buy out there but I thought that I would show you because it's really cool. It's the Millennium Falcon. It has so much detail on it which I'm hoping you can see and then on the back it does just say Disneyland Paris on there and as I mentioned it's a bottle opener so it's steel purpose. It has some weight to it as well so you can tell that the quality is good and yeah this will live on our fridge and as I mentioned it will open some bottles for us as well so this is a really good purchase but I am still disappointed that I just couldn't get a standard Disneyland Paris magnet. The next few things I bought I have actually gotten for my niece. So first up we have this lolly. You get a pack of three of these for five euros. My niece has already had one. This is for Tom's mum for watching the dog and my sister got one for watching the dog as well. I also got her this Minnie Mouse autograph book because she is going to Disneyland Paris over Easter. She doesn't know it yet so it's going to be a surprise so this is going to be her birthday present which I think is such a nice one because she'll be able to use it while she's out there. And then to go with that I did also get a pen for her which has some of the Disney princesses on as well. I did want to get her a pen from the Disney parks because they're a little bit thicker which helps some of the characters grab onto it. So these are two little presents for her that I know she's going to love and I cannot wait to see her face when she's told that she is going to the Disney parks. And then just quickly this one was €9.99 and the pen was €4. Euros. And then the last big item that I have to show you isn't actually one that I purchased myself. Now on our last day in Disneyland Paris my co-worker actually messaged me asking if I could buy her a spider bot because her son has been asking for one ever since they went a few weeks ago and unfortunately they're not available anywhere else except for Disneyland Paris. So I did end up picking one up for her which is why I had the massive bag that you see in the thumbnail. I definitely wouldn't have been able to carry it otherwise. It is massive as you can tell but this is so so cool and I really wish that I'd bought one for myself now because I do really love it but this is what it looks like. It is a spider bot that features in the web adventure game at Avengers Campus. It is inspired by Spider-Man of course but you can get attachments to go on it as well which I didn't get because she didn't ask for any but yeah I did buy this for her on our last day. This one was 70 euros but they are so so cool as I mentioned. There is a section of the shop where you can actually play with these for yourselves and yeah all of us fell in love. We really did want them but I just don't think we could have carried any more of them home but I'm really glad that I was able to get this one home. I know her little boy is going to absolutely love this one and as I mentioned I'm pretty jealous that I don't actually own one so maybe in the next trip I'll have to get one who knows but this is the reason for the big bag it is quite heavy as well so it definitely added some weight to our cases but as I mentioned I think it's going to be worth it and it is really really cool and then the last few bits I'm going to show you guys are the freebies that I got starting with this now this is a badge that just says Disney's Halloween festival on it it also has the 30th anniversary logo there as I mentioned we went over Halloween we were there from the 29th of October till the 1st of November and I didn't actually get my hands on these until the last day because it wasn't advertised where you can get them but I ended up asking a cast member on Main Street and they said that they're only available at your hotel. So I went back to the hotel, asked for four because that meant we got one each and yeah I just think it's a really cool little memento that we have from the trip and it does feature some of the villains on there as well which I love. So yeah that is the first little freebie and then in the same vein as that there were also some collectible cards that you could collect throughout the Disney park. There were only four which is quite sad. I feel like they definitely could have done more but we have Cruella de Vil, Maleficent, the Evil Queen and Captain Hook. I'm so so happy that I got all of these. It was a fun little thing to do just whilst you were kind of walking around the Disney parks. The cast members had these and you just kind of went up to them and asked for one. I was lucky enough that I didn't get any duplicates. I think actually I did get a duplicate of Captain Hook but Sean took that one from me so other than that these were the first picks I got which was really lucky. I didn't really have to search that long for the full set and again it's a fun little thing to have and I'm glad that I did end up collecting them. Then we have have the shampoo and conditioner from my hotel. You can see that they are Toy Story themed because we stayed at Hotel Cheyenne and they are adorable so of course I had to bring these home. I have this little napkin holder from Stark Factory. We had lunch there on our last day and I thought this was really cute so I 
I'll probably put this in my journal. Same goes for this Disneyland Paris 30th napkin. And then when I checked into Hotel Cheyenne, I actually got given quite a few little bits that obviously I have decided to keep. So the first thing is this little envelope. It had all of my paperwork and cards and things in there. And on the back, it had a map of the property as well, which was really handy for our first day. This postcard was also inside, which is really cute. It has Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye on there. It says Hotel Cheyenne, and then on the back, again, it just has a little photo of the hotel itself. I have this newspaper style poster for the Hotel Cheyenne, which features some information about there, which again, I just think is really cool and is a nice touch. And then lastly, I have the booklet that my photo pass came in. So this is what you get. And then your card is stuck in the middle bit here where you can see the card number bit here. Again, this was definitely worth it and I would highly recommend. And I thought it would just be nice to keep it for sentimentality reasons. But that is it, you guys. We have finally made it to the end of the haul. I honestly feel like I've been filming for so long. I didn't realize how many little bits and bobs that I brought home with me. But as I mentioned, I'm so, so happy with every single item that I bought. And I definitely think that planning ahead really helped me to not overspend as well. Please do let me know what your favorite item of this haul was. And if you've been to Disneyland Paris recently, let me know what you got up to down below as well. If you have made it this far into the video, please go ahead and leave me some cowboy emojis down in the comments. As I mentioned, we stayed at Hotel Cheyenne, which was inspired by Woody and the Toy Story gang. So that is definitely a fitting emoji for this video. And I always say it, but seeing you guys comment the emoji of the video truly does mean the world to me. So if you don't have anything in particular that you would like to say, but you would like to let me know that you're still here, definitely go ahead and do that now. As well as that, please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. It truly does mean the world to me and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye.